Hi, this is the second video about windowing in CT. One of our viewers, Storm Grace, asked us, why do we use a subdural window? In the previous video, we covered the general concept of use of window widths and window length levels or center. We also talked about how the window widths affect the contrast. We also learned that the narrow width widths that you have increases the contrast among the tissues which differ from each other in a relatively small increments of Hounsfield units. Now let us see where the brain window fits into this scale. A brain window is centered at 40. with a window width of 80. Therefore, the range of Hounsfield to be displayed are 0 to 80. That is because the midpoint of the width is 40. Hence, we minus 40 from the center, which is also 40. That's give, that gives us 0. And plus 40 to the center is 80. Now let's adjust the scale since the ruler should now have uh, 0 at the lower point and 80 at the opposite. There. Now zooming in a bit, we now realize that both white matter and gray matter are well within this scale and can be visualized in this brain window. However, intracranial hemorrhage, um, which varies from 60 to 100 Hounsfield units, may or may not be seen. Why? Because values above this upper limit, upper limit of 80 will be displayed as white. And this range of white region includes the bone or the calvarium. So... For example, if we have a sliver of subdural hemorrhage within this range, it may be difficult to differentiate from the adjacent bone, which is very white. So what we do here is that instead of the brain window with a width of 80 centered at 40 Hounsfield units, we're going to slide it up to a center of... Um, 80 and set a wider width of 200. Now, the range of Hounsfield are changed. It's 80 minus the half of 200, which is minus 20, while 80 plus the half of 200 is 180. Now, in this scale, the intracranial hemorrhage is now within the range and can now be better differentiated from the bone. So why do we use a subdural window? So this is an example of an image in the brain window. In this region, we see something suspicious. Switch into the subdural window. Now we are more convinced that there is something going on here. So a subdural window has a wider window width compared to the brain window and it increases the conspicuity of the acute subdural hematomas. So that's it. Thank you very much Storm Grace for that wonderful question. See you next time.